welcome to another episode of Commander Fodder. So this week we're using some cards from Weatherlight as our Commander Fodder. In particular this card. So what I did prior to this episode is I went on to MTGen, generated six packs of virtual boosters. In those six packs was a Call of the Wild. So generally I go for the, for the rare cards, um, pick a rare, and then if there's anything else of interest in there as well that will either help the utility generally in an EDH deck or interact in some way with um, with the card, then I also put those in. Also, if I notice that um, you know the card is generally playable or turns up quite a lot just generally in EDH decks, that may well go in as well. So we have 37 lands in here just as a starting point it's a mono green deck and call of the wilds two and two green and then for two and two green you can activate this bit which is reveal the top card of your library to all players if that card is a creature card put it into play otherwise bury it so if it's a creature card it goes into play if it's anything else it ends up in the graveyard with in the card pool as well there were these two cards and i thought i'd put them in there's some yeah, interaction going on here between these and this so the one in the green one uh, which is a harvest one it's three two when it comes into play return any basic land card from your graveyard to your hand or bury it and of course as a result of this this there's a good chance that you may end up sticking um, basic lands into your graveyard so that's a good way of you're getting those back obviously there's other ways in magic we can get a land that has unfortunately ended up in our graveyard but uh, this is a good starting point also we've got this card which i noticed cropped up in the original card pool which is barishi so two and two green it's four three if barishi is put into any graveyard from play remove barishi from the game then shuffle all creature cards from your graveyard into your library now most of the time obviously Call of the Wild is going to be putting great creatures into play but you're going to be having creatures going into the graveyard either through combat, removal or um, discard because your hand's too full and you have to discard a card because you've gone above seven say and you don't have a card that, that um, prevents that from happening um, so you know feeding on that um, but then taking your um, creature cards in the graveyard and putting them back in the library so then they can be um, you know picked out filtered out by this card so it's yeah getting stuff that's creature cards in your graveyard that you would prefer to be in your library back into your library i've also got mindstone that turned up that's in the set. I've often seen this in a few EDH decks. So taps for colourless mana. So it's a mana rock for colourless mana. Two to cast. But for one you can tap it, sacrifice it and draw a card. In green, you know, any card draw is a good thing because it's not something you often come across. And for the commander I thought I'd play this. So one and two green. It's a one two. Tap top. Put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Activate this ability only during your turn before attackers are declared. So that's going to put stuff on top of our library from our graveyard. Um, and then, you know, again, feeding this filtering because it's creatures. So we're, we're sort of stacking our deck, the top of our deck, if you like. And of course we can either use this or just through card draw it ends up in our hand. With this you get to put it straight into play. So I'm hoping by having these two and other cards that allude to you know, some graveyard recursion, things like that, where you've got stuff going on between the graveyard and the library. It's going to encourage it to move in that direction, encourage the algorithm to suggest stuff like that. But that's all I'm going to have in the deck. So let us go into here. 
and see what we get recommended. So So there's going to be some cards here which double up the uh, the effect of cards we already have, which is good. Uh, seeing as that's our sort of theme of moving stuff between the library and the graveyard, and also filtering stuff so we get creatures out into play. There's some other stuff here, so we're going to basically pack this out with creatures that's the most important thing we're in green so we may be do have to dial back the land so I think probably with that in mind what I should do first is just make sure oops, that we are pushing it towards this you know the particular graveyard library interaction that we were we want to be going on before we start adding in um yeah ramping in green i think that's important to do first in case we send out the wrong message to the algorithm we've also got other ways of doing this like this can be used for for land Also, because of the way that that works, um, that enchantment is that it'd be interesting to have stuff that has ETBs on it. Because that creates an interesting follow up to, to the, uh, the use of that card. And this sort of thing interacts with how tau. So we, you know, they've got these interesting things where cards are sort of going both ways, from the library to the battlefield, or the graveyard to the library. <laughs> And we've also got stuff that ends up in the graveyard, which subsequently you can get back with how to. So, yeah. This is an interesting one for the utility. So, the other thing is because we want to play lots of creatures, um, is to have stuff which have things we'd normally want to do like fog effects stapled to it as well and that way we don't have to worry about playing cards specifically to deal with it because we've got, we've got creatures that will help out with that so again looking up to, to double up here anything that plays to our strategy
Yeah, how Tower's ability makes, um, yeah, has creates some interesting synergies with cards. be careful here because we're gonna end up with a high quite a high curve although of course we can um, we can cheat stuff into play so maybe oh, need to don't need to worry so much Yeah, because the number of cards here where we can sack stuff to activate the ability, we can get that card backed from the graveyard as well. three creatures already so this is probably the time to just switch to another type of card and then come back so here really I'm just looking for stuff either that might protect my commander or uh, leverage the fact that I'm playing green beyond that so, I mean we could play something like that that's cool so is that oh bursting pod Hmm. That would be an interesting twist. Yeah. Come back to artifacts in a moment. Let's look at some instants. So we've got Beast Within, we've got Worldly Tutor here. Yeah, I think I want to choose that. But I'm going to need some removal here. some sorceries. Maybe sorceries first. This is where all my uh, land tutoring will come from. Probably things like, you know, cultivate and rampant growth and such like. Also probably need to play a harmonize and a Kadama's reach. An interesting thing to play around with actually in this deck we've got a regrowth
Well, that would be cool. draw yeah it's all three is okay and some enchantments okay Decisions here. Definitely in keeping with the top of the library shenanigans that are going on in this deck. I put into your graveyard from anywhere during this turn. Mm, I wonder if that would work. Mm. That would be interesting on what my deck already does. Interesting utility card. Let's have another look at some enchantments. I need to look at uh, utility lands as well. We're in a mono green deck, so obviously I'm not looking to play things like dual lands or anything like that. Mana fixing is pretty easy. Do I want to do... Do I want to play around with feet to pack? Oh, maybe I want the Garrick's up. Yeah. What the hell? Okay. Where are we now? So we need another eight cards. Pop us up a bit. And they are going to be creatures. But let's just have a look at the lands here. It's quite a fun thing to play around with. Myriad. So is that. Definitely want that. 
Of course I want. Why wouldn't I? And that. It's always fun to win in one of the colour deck. Right, let us. Here's my land base gone. Here we go. So I can take this down a bit. Live a little bit dangerously. Thirty-five. Yep. What's my curve look like so far? Oh dear. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we'll see. <laughs> right. So another ten cards. That's going to take us up to thirty-five creatures. Okay. It'll be fun to see what sort of creature utility we can pull on here. I should put a terrestrial on it actually. So no more elf, elvish mystic, yeah, let's get a few mana dogs. Resist. <laughs> um, we're in mono green and I need to fix that. Okay, five creatures. Unless. Let me just see what we've got here. Some tutoring going on here as well. Who knows? Got an idea. There's a creature card in here. That sounds interesting to play around with. We'll see. I've got a slot for it. It's always tempting to start messing around with dredge, but uh, it's quite uh, quite cognitively intensive, I find.
Genesis. Interesting political card. Oh, we went a bit over the top there. I wasn't keeping tabs. Okay. steps that's better okay well my curve is atrocious I've got an 11 drop it's funny what was that in the oh world spider one well yeah because I can Right. Let's just export this before anything unpleasant happens. And yeah, I think here we're just going to do some sample hands. Just check and see if I need to adjust the land here. Um, Yeah, we got. So I'm just checking where things get half control creature wise. Okay. So go into the play tester. Play tester, please. Yep. Okay. Okay, boom, bay, boom, turn two, don't try to elk. We've got a turn three wood elves, so I would be tempted to maybe sack that. But let's just see how the hand develops. So, yeah, so unless I do that, I'm definitely going to be a bit stuck here. So let's just see. So we do get Findor now, and then we can start. So we do have three more. Yeah, we're going to be, a, looks like we're going to be stuck on, so if we had Findor nails and we'd turn that into a forest, so we'd have access to four mana. Uh, Satya, Forest. So yeah, I think what we would have missed, we would have been a, possibly yeah, like a turn behind there. But that's pretty good now. So let's try this. Oh, and we do have a soul ring though. Well, you know, turn one soul ring. Who can refuse that? We do have an evolutionary loop, loop, leap, um, in which we can play. So that's playable. So we've got access to one green, so it's three, but it's one green. So again, we. A little bit stuck here, and yeah, now we've got so we can cast a spore frog to so damage preventer. Oh, there's our forest. So, force in. So, eternal witness is castable. That we can get out. Let's 
castable. Looks like we've oh, there's a myriad landscape, which we can also choose to crack to get. So yeah, it's again a little bit slow here, and mustn't forget we can get this out turn three. But it's no good until we get stuff in our graveyard and I probably wouldn't want to play that until I've got something maybe to protect it because it is a one it is a one two so it's really vulnerable to removal yeah in fact it, it might even consider running slightly more artifacts to protect this maybe there's a few other ones that aren't as good as like lightning greaves and things like that but we'll protect commanders in a similar way which we could play so let's have a look again I think definitely I might want to think seriously about increasing the land count slightly but anyway let's proceed and see how we do we do have this we have Moss Ridge for hideaway so we've got a turn to mine stone, which is okay. Well, this is much better. Oh, yeah, rampant growth. Cool. We can play that for one. <laughs> Our Hornet Queen. We've sort of got a feed pack. We can't play that yet. Um, we can play Vivian. And of course this, we can do a hideaway, so yeah, so it's fine if we want it to go down that route. And of course that, we can use that to generate green mana. We could also cast that to get the extra mana, certainly having access to six mana. Does that make anything? Yeah, I suppose with the Moss Bridge, yeah, seven. So then things come a bit more castable. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay, yep, that's good. So I think, yeah, the, the deck definitely needs a bit of tweaking here. Um, maybe either a bit more RAM or increase the chances of drawing uh, lands would help. And turn one small frog. We do have a Kadama's Reach, but uh, we do. we've also got Findle and Elves as well. So that's now castable. Uh, Beast Within is castable. So we've got the Avamaya Elder which is castable. So that's a lot better. That's turn 5 removal. Turn 3 enchantment. Sorry, turn 4. Turn 4 enchantment. I can't read that properly. We could have more land out anyway. Let's just see how this develops of its own accord. So here we do have a wood elf. So at that point, yeah, we would have had to have leveraged these somehow, really. And now we're starting to see the land. Okay. Oh, another one landable with a soul ring and we do have a land of worlds as well and a Findor nails okay and a rampant growth and a Sakuri <laughs> so this yeah Dork City okay yeah so and this is fine Got lots of stuff we can play here and crack and generally yeah, have fun with. Oh, yeah. that 
by the lander. So I suppose the other thing with this is it's quite a while before probably you can start messing around with this. Um, yeah, there's a worldly tutor so we can start tutoring for stuff. So really we're just building our land and building our utility I suppose early game. See, with these, I always tend to look at the price and go, well, I could, you know, well, so not build the deck, but, you know, one could try building the deck and just experiment with it if it was below a certain price. Um, is that, where's our money in the... Oh, yeah, the Nixos and the Reliquy Tower to some degree, I suppose. That's where our costs are. That's pretty expensive. Well, six bucks. Creatures are pretty cheap. Could probably take out the pod. In fact, yeah. Maybe one thing I'd do first of all is take that out. Increase the land count. I might even just take that out. Get that land up to 37 again perhaps. Probably what, I'd, what I think I'd do. Anyway, there we have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed that episode of Commander Fodder. Thanks once again for watching. Bye for now, and I will catch you in a future episode.